Good morning. Welcome to day 15. Oh my, day 15. I have been doing this for two weeks. Whew. The time is going by so fast. Wow. I am just can't believe it. Half a month. My goodness. Anyway, just, it's about eight o'clock and I'm leaving the shelter. Um, I ended up staying at the shelter with Julia. Um, I had thought I was gonna go to Don Cannon, but it started to rain. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but it started to rain as I was passing the shelter. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna stay here. So I did, and so it was nice. It was just Julia and I for a bit. And then um, two guys came by. Uh, their names are Logistics and Bucket from New Jersey and Massachusetts. Very nice guys. They are married to sisters and uh, <sighs> guys might be watching <laughs> they said they would give the, my channel to you guys so if you are I say hi um, really funny uh, and kind I like their vibes so they're flip-flopper too I'm hoping I get to see them but they started on June 5th and they're already here so they are much faster than me but anyway you never know they said that they met a few other flip-floppers too that are on their way. Uh, so I may be able to, sorry, I'm going up a hill. They may be able to uh, catch up to me and uh, I have other flip-floppers to, to go with. But anyway, there was also a guy that came in really late and left really early so he slept on the bunk above me and then someone else came after that 9 30 and uh i just talked to him now before leaving uh he's uh oh, which country did he say he was from anyway eastern europe and uh shaman his name is very kind and he's uh doing a sobo flip-flop so anyway, if you're watching Simon, it was lovely to meet you, even if only briefly. I have about four miles to go into uh, Don Cannon. And once I'm there, the trail goes right in Don Cannon. And there's the famous Doyle Hotel. Um, and there is a small uh, outdoor store. I will try to go there to pick up a couple of things. Beautiful, beautiful morning. There's a trail right there. And behind me. All right. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day on the Appalachian Trail. Day 15. Woohoo! All right, talk to you later, guys. Okay, started to descend this steep mountain. They've actually made some steps, which is helpful for sure. But uh, the steps are descending in a very steep fashion, too. So one must be very careful. Let's see how this goes up. Very steep. Hi. Taking a little breather. Oh, 
on the last video, I think I was coming down, um, which was a long descent. And that led into the town of Duncannon. And the trail did go straight through Duncannon. Um, probably for, I don't know, a mile or maybe a little, little even longer than that. And uh, we came back into the woods on the other side of a river. I'm not sure what the name of the river is. I'll look it up. I had to cross a bridge, which is a, a traffic, car traffic bridge. And some very busy highway. I was glad that that was over and coming back into the woods. Since I've been on this climb, I think I'm only, I want to say a third maybe. It's a thousand feet of elevation gain. And uh, I'll show you, I'll turn the camera around. It's steep, very steep. Vaguely see at the end of those trees, that's the river. Once we get to the top, I know you get a really nice view. And uh, this is what we're going for right now. Up and up. And up. It's going okay. I just had protein bar. Um, uh, in Duncannon, I got a couple of Gatorade at a hiker um, hostel, which was pretty nice. And they had some resupply, and the resupply was really very adequate. Sorry, I had my hand on the volume there. The resupply was very adequate. I was able to get a new CNOC bag because mine has a puncture. I will try to fix it with Luco tape. A gal at the hostel suggested I try that, so I will. She also said that's very, she never heard of them puncturing. I will uh, try to fix it, but I'll also reach out to the company. I, I am surprised too that it punctured. The one that I had was a two liter or one liter. The one, one she gave me is much smaller, but anyway, at least I got that. And because the Luco tape has been so good, I have a little bit left on my pole, but I decided to, they had it there and it's often hard to get. I decided to just get another roll. It's a big roll, but when I go soon into the Rock Sylvania area, I think I'm just purposely going to tape my feet because those rocks are going to be really tough on my feet and on my shoes. I figured the liquid tape would be would be good to have. And I was also looking for a carabiner with a lock for when I need to do the bear bag hang. And they had they had some and it was a really good one too. So I was very happy to get that. All in all, a good trip. So now I need to go back up. And there's hikers coming up. <laughs> I'm doing my video. <laughs> this is break, right? Steaks. Steaks. Yeah, yeah. I was close. close I was really close. Really close. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got a YouTube channel, so oh, I tried. Okay. I tried. Well, YouTube. I know. I tried to document, you know, cool. everything. Yeah. So, and that's uh, her, her hiking partner, Gummy Bear. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Little sweaty. I know. Okay. I had to cut the video I guess I wasn't sure <laughs> if they were comfortable being in it but uh, steak and gummy bear they are a through hiker Nobo just goes to show how fast they are they had stopped at the Doyle Hotel I went into the bar to just take a look at it because I'd heard it had been renovated and uh, so they were there they just were ordering a beer so they had their beer and they left and they caught up with me and uh, they're gone like zoom. <laughs> but I have been seeing them for the last several days. So uh, that's a pattern. 
I see them and then eventually I don't see them anymore, but they are just been doing lots of miles and they're fast. Anyway, it's good to see them still. Bye. Seeing a lot of trees sort of fallen down. This is the trail. Completely blocked. So you kind of have to go around it down in the valley here. It's not the first one I've seen. So either it's recent or the trail maintenance isn't as great, but I see a lot of trees everywhere. Not sure which. We are at the top. This is where I came from. To this point of view, which is quite nice. It's a river, and I don't know the name. pretty. I'm gonna stay here for a little bit, enjoy the sun, the break, and interesting, uh, this is the trail. Uh, hmm, I don't know how long this will be like that for, but this is what we got going. We're at the top of the mountain. It seems like the, whatever this is, it's been pushed up and made the, the top of the, of this peak. But we're only a mile from the shelter, so not too bad. Only one mile, but it's a super scramble, my goodness. We're really at the top of the mountain, just along the ridge, but uh, quite. I did. 